What's going on, Duelists? It's YT Dan, back at it again with another informative video. If you didn't know, this week is Cyber Dragon Week. All week, we're going to be getting in there with Cyber Dragon. Now, I just completed a podcast that goes over Cyber Dragon in great detail, but there's one thing that came out in the comment section that I wanted to address that I think is extremely important and also is something that a lot of people just don't know about or understand. When it comes to ranked PvP, it's one of the most excruciating challenges that you can find. When you want to learn how to play your competitive deck, there's nowhere to play without pressure. If you go to casual, it ain't casual. <laughs> and if you go to ranked, <laughs> you're gonna get spanked. Now, there is a middle ground. There is a place for you to play and train and learn how to duel. It's in solo mode, but you will be surprised. You will be delighted when I show you how to effectively use solo mode to train yourself for ranked PVP. Let's go. All right, my boys. So there's two things we can do here. There's competitive training and then there's gauntlet training. You can understand if your deck can get the best out of 10. And then also you can understand if your deck can actually compete in an actual metagame. So what do I mean by that? Well, inside of solo mode is a closed metagame. See, inside of solo mode is a set meta of very specific decks that play very specific ways. You don't have to really know how every deck plays to get a competitive lens in solo mode, but that's what this is for. These different decks showing you different styles so that you can learn to play against them. Although the AI is weak, although some of the plays are dumb, the basic general consensus is a variety of different decks with a variety of different play styles so that you can understand some core mechanics. As I mentioned in Revival of the Duelist, you need to get a general understanding of how some cards work so that you can actually compete in competitive Yu-Gi-Oh. But you're like, Dan, that means nothing to me. If I play against the Dream Mirror Domination, how is, how's it gonna help me beat Snake Eye? Fair, very, very fair. I will give you something that you can actually use. So turn your solo modes to second Levit Ephesians, uh, digital bugs, <laughs> when we find it, where you at? Digital bugs in cyberspace. This is where we need to go. The digital bugs in cyberspace is the most competitive solo mode in Master Duel. So first you have to go and unlock it because it's hidden away because this is a secret. This is a secret, because if you don't unlock this, you don't have it. If you didn't go down here and bother with this, you don't have it. And, and you know, it's, and it's easy to get and it's easy to neglect. It is a secret. You pay 200 light points, which you probably got, and you get two duels, dual four and dual five. Dual four, look at our deck, and I'm sure maybe you didn't even know you could do this. Confirm opponent's deck. You can look at the deck. Turn four our deck for this deck is a go first deck a go first deck with back row this deck will help you play against people who play back row decks who use traps as their means of interaction so don't think like oh no this doesn't have like skill drain or um what is that called rivalry or whatever don't think like that think of this is the type of deck that sets up back row traps. I play an OTK combo deck. If my OTK combo deck that I'm building and, and trying out can't defeat a standard back row deck, I got more work to do. That's the point of this deck, okay? So this is the go first deck. So you want to play going second into this deck. You're testing your go second strategy on deck number four. And basically, if you fail to defeat them, 
this deck has enough gas in it to kill you in a response. So you will be punished on retaliation. So this deck is strong enough to do that. We're going to demonstrate that on the back half. And I'm going to use some more of my cyber style to demonstrate. Let's take a look at deck five. Confirm the opponent's deck. Now this deck is for you to test your go first strategy. When you look at this deck, you can see three maxis with um, imperm in hand. So if you're going first and your combo can't get past maxi and imperm, I guess you got some more work to do. This is the bare minimum. If you can't beat Maxi and Imperm, you're not ready for ranked. Because if you lose to Maxi and Infirm, you're going to be punished, guaranteed. You're going to get punished. And you might just lose. They might just kill you. You know? They might just end the goddamn game. So you got to keep that in mind. These are the two most competitive decks in solo mode. If you can play these decks and win against these decks consistently, you're ready for ranked duels. You're ready. No matter what the meta is, no matter what the strategy is, these are the decks that we play against. Because when you play against the AI, you know Yu-Gi-Oh! Master Duel's rigged anyway. He's going to open up Max C and Imperm. <laughs> Every single time you got to learn how to play against at least two hand traps on turn one. If your deck can play through two hand traps on turn one, you are ready for ranked duels. So you see what I'm saying here? These are the two most competitive decks. Deck B or deck, deck number five, digital bugs and deck number four with digital bugs. Now I mentioned that there is a rank dual simulator. There's a rank dual simulator in solo mode. Let's head over to that right now. Now go ahead and change and roll your solo mode to third Levitid Ephesians SP deck challenge. It's a deck challenge. Why is it a deck challenge? Because you just tested in the realm of the digital bugs. You just learned that your deck has power in the realm of the digital bugs. Now you must go through a gauntlet of these level five decks, level four decks <laughs> in Master Duel Standard. One, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten 10 duels. Can you get 10 out of 10? Can you get 10 out of 10, my friend, against these 10 decks that are set up randomly using the win condition? If you are an OTK deck that has to win on the second turn, can you win on the second turn consistently against 10 duelists? It's the SP deck challenge. So let's take a look at our decks, at these opponents. The first opponent, what is this? You're being tested about Max C and getting punished on Max C. This is your test. It's Max C Goki Pole combo. That's what this is. So again, test your go first strategy on the first duelist. Can you surpass Max C? And if you don't go happen to, you know, go first, look. You, you might even get trapped. <laughs> if this deck goes first, they got a little trap for you. So can you successfully go second and win? It doesn't matter what this deck is. It doesn't matter if it's not Snake Eye. Can you do it? If you can't, <laughs> I guess you need to keep training consistency. Let's take a look at the next one. Looks like this is a this deck's going to want to go first. They're going to want to set up Torrential Tribute that is searchable. So it looks like this deck's going to definitely have a response to your moves. Potentially two Torrential Tributes. <laughs> so you can see that there's a theme here. You're, going, you're fighting against a go first deck, a go second deck. A go first deck, a go second deck. 
you see they have these common challenges in here this is like a meme deck but basically in this deck you're going to be punished by a hand trap can you survive against a random sur random hand trap like a, a hand trap that you had no idea that was going to drop on you can you play against such a hand trap very interesting you see what i'm saying it's the 10 deck challenge each deck has something different each deck has something unique. You're gonna have to face Harpy's Feather Storm. This deck sets up goes first and hits you with Harpy's Feather Storm. What is your response in your deck? It doesn't matter that it's not Snake Eye. It matters that you have been negated this turn. Can you play through an entire monster negate? Maybe it's not something you gotta keep in mind or factor, but it's a possibility. So go ahead, see if you can get all 10 dubs. Let's see. Toon shenanigans? Yeah, this is definitely some sort of like combo deck. Can your hand trap stop the combo? Let's see what else we got. Back row shenanigans or destiny board? <laughs> if you die to this, if you die to stall tactics, <laughs> maybe you need to factor in Harpy's Feather Duster. Is this really holding you up, Doom Caliber Knight <laughs> and the Dark Door? You might laugh and say, Dan, I can't take you seriously on that. This is not going to stop me at all. I would never lose the destiny board, but someone out there is. That guy who's going on the gold, that Ruxin dude, all those people who complain, oh, I can't play Yu-Gi-Oh! This game's too hard. I'm a Yuki boomer. I don't want to learn. No, all the tests of ranked PvP, it's been put before you. Every meme, every go first deck, every turn one deck, every FTK, every OTK, everything. This is an alternative win condition. This shows you that there's a different way to win than putting someone's life points to zero. Maybe you needed to learn that lesson. Can your new deck defeat all 10? Can it? I don't know. You gotta have to tell me. Look at this, raw spear mode. So you've mastered going first. So you've mastered your combo. Can you survive if all three of your monsters are tributed? <laughs> Do you have any gas left in your deck? <laughs> I'm telling you, you are missing out, man. Look at this, Lava Golem. This is teaching you how to survive against Kaiju punishment. Come on. What other mysteries? The Gauntlet of 10. I think this is a combo deck, if I'm not mistaken. Yeah, some sort of like combo deck. It's not a, I don't know, I don't know if it's like an OTK. Actually, this this probably could OTK because you got a lot of damage effects and stuff like that. So, probably an OTK deck. Can you defend against it? Can you stop it at the choke points using your ash blossoms? Some sort of combo deck? Will you use it on this or will you use it on this? Ash. Learn how to use your hand traps. Every time I look at them. You can just, you can just, well, I've been playing the game long enough to be able to look at the deck and just know what's going on, even if I haven't seen it before. Look at this, blue eyes, white dragon. Every ranked PVP is going to have a random blue eyes player that's got shenanigans going. Surprise, it's mirror force. You, you have fallen into a lull. You have fallen into, you are sleeping. You are not thinking about Mirror Force. All those duels previously haven't had a single battle trap. I attack directly, Mirror Force, huh? <laughs> Expect the unexpected. This is what this is telling you. And look at this. This is and, and this is funny too, because it's the penultimate duel has a Mirror Force in it. Here it is, the final duel of all 10 games. You have faced the go first deck, the go second deck, the meme deck, the combo deck, the stall deck, the back row deck, the alternative win condition. What's next?
I forgot that they did this. This is basically set up so that you face at, at the end. Okay. I forgot that they did this after you defeat. Sorry. Let me go back. <laughs> I forgot. I forgot that they did this. I forgot that they did this. When you get, I forgot that this was themed. I forgot that this was themed. When I looked at the last duel, it made me remember. Okay. I forgot that this was themed. This is so clever. Okay. So in this last one, it's combo dark magician. You can be OTK'd. You will lose going uh, second against this. It can kill you. And it can go first. Go first or go second. Nice deck. Even has a spell trap. Uh, well, not spell trap. A spell negate too. And this, I think, a target negate. Yeah. So, this deck's got some, some spice on it. Also, surprise factor. But one thing I wanted to point out, because this deck is good going first or going second, so it's appropriate to the final duel. But also, this is a Tim. I forgot that these 10 duels were actually themed. So this is Yugi. Uh, this is Kaiba, uh, obviously. And then you got uh, Joey, because this is Red Eyes. Yep. And then, uh, what's this one? Uh, Merrick. <laughs> I forgot that it was themed this way. But it's, it's built so well. These decks are built so well. I mean, they, they are truly a final test. You literally got to face off against the main characters of the game in TCG form. That's kind of amazing how they did that. Bakura, obviously. I totally forgot it was themed. I totally forgot it was themed. Pegasus, obviously. But I'm looking at it from a meta competitive lens. My Valentine. Hold on a second. My Valentine. With her cheating ass. <laughs> Bandy Keith with his cheating ass. <laughs> Mako Tsunami. <laughs> On, man i totally forgot about that but basically this sp deck challenge is the pantheon of gods within master duel so after you learn in the digital bug training realm you face off against the master duel pantheon the duelist kingdom pantheon the og pantheon in the current year my boy so come on this is how you get training. This is how you get good. This is how I built the gladiator beast. This is how I did it. I tested it in the digital bug realm, and then I took it through a gauntlet of 10. But then when the SP deck challenge came out, yeah, straight competitive, straight competitive. So again, it's not that it's snake eye. It's not that it's the mainstream meta. Is that it's training you for the very basics, the very basics to take you to the advanced level so that you can understand the competitive meta. There's a lot to learn if you're trying to get back into the game. But why are you complaining and soaking yourself in negativity by getting onto YouTube and listening to all these baby wah wah complainers? who can't level up their game from Magic the Gathering to something like Yu-Gi-Oh, for example. As Magic the Gathering is the father, Yu-Gi-Oh is the son, born of the inspiration from the, the original manga. The original manga was a parody of Magic the Gathering. So instead of going slow like Magic, it goes fast. And instead of placing mana down as resources you make your own resources in the graveyard you make your own resources from the deck you make your own resources from the hand from the face up banish pile if you don't know what i'm talking about revival of the duelists get you back into the game if you don't know what i'm talking about it's cyber dragon week check out the cyber dragon podcast we break it down now, I did promise that I would give you some digital bug action, so let's get over to that. 
All right, so we're back. This is the deck number five, the one that leads with maxi and punishes with imperm and can OTK. I'm gonna play against this deck and try to set up my go first combo. And depending on its reaction, you'll see what I do. So let's go. Cyber Dragon Week, free to play. So let's go. We're gonna cook it going first. Here I am. <laughs> you you thought I wasn't gonna be here. <laughs> okay. So I know, so the funny thing about this is there's the toggle doesn't work when you're playing against AI. There's no knowing that he has Max C. The only thing you'll know of if he has Max C is when you go to special summon, he's like Max E boy. So basically you can kind of game the process by utilizing your normal summon because we're playing our cyber dragon deck we can utilize our normal summon and kind of get around his maxi strategy so we're going to normal summon here and then we're going to normal summon here and then it's going to be too late to maxi here if he's got it all right so now if he has maxi i'm just going to stop right here because you see how I went into this combo? I did two normal summons. See? Two normal summons. This deck can do three normal summons. It's thrice great. So check out the podcast if you want to know how. Check out the podcast if you want to see the deck list. Because you ain't going to see it here, boy. Now, come on. Now let's find out if he's got the maximum C. Of course. Of course. You see? So we gamed it a little bit, and that way we don't have to lose. Now see, right now, I can stop right here so that we don't continue this max C. And then we got IPSP, and I'll turn his guys to machines, and that'll disrupt him enough. So I don't think I'm gonna special. I'm gonna activate this, and I'm gonna pass. You see that? You see what I learned? You see how I reacted to the max C? I didn't just scoop or turn off the game. I went, hmm, I could stop it right here because I know the ins and out because I'm practicing and also I can make a mistake and no one sees it because I'm alone. So you can get over the anxiety of playing in front of someone, being embarrassed when you make a misplay. So let's do this on normal. Since we know this deck, needs a monster on board to do anything punishment time all right now see maxi did mess me up because i did have to change my gameplay up so everything's down on this draw that's not good see now I'm in a position of, oh no. And so is he. Seems to not have any combo. Hmm. All right. We bricked on the wagon. It's Cyber Dragon's only weakness. <laughs> Let us continue. No need. Uh oh. Here goes the cook. Now, we gotta pop the SP right now. Because if he gets the equipment stuff and pulling stuff from the grave, we'll get wrecked. So you gotta at least know and no! Uh oh. <laughs> Punishment time. All right, boys. Here we go. The do. Perfect cardo. All right, now we can finish this duel. All right, first we're gonna summon Cyber Dragon Core. What card will we receive? Hmm. I think we're gonna take this one, right? Mm, 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 mm. Yeah. We're gonna take this. 
The time is cap. This is it. Our final turn. All right, so we gotta deal with this back row one way or another. We gotta do something about that. And then we also, I, oh yeah, can't forget this. We do got our, kai, our kaiju effect because we've got Clockwork Knights up. Oh yeah, Clockwork Knights. And then we also got the galaxy combo. Hmm. All right, well, let's do it. It's clockwork time. <laughs> I forgot about that. Yes. <laughs> it's wonderful. All right. Totally forgot about that. I was like, oh, yeah, we can definitely cook with that. We had nights up. <laughs> Love that little move. It's so handy. And since this is just standard fare, um, we know we're playing against the imperm uh, maxi combination. We know what, exactly what we need to do to wrap this duel up. Yes. I believe it's time. It's all about the practice, baby. All right. So you saw that the mission was complete. I was able to go first, set up my combo, play through Max C, not give my opponent a ton of advantage, and still take the victory. That's a lesson that you need to carry to rank PvP. If you don't know how to do such a thing, if you don't have that mental muscle built up, that courage built up already in your mind, Every time you see Maxi, you're going to cringe. It's going to boil your blood. It's going to make you disgusted. We have a term for that. It's a medical term. It's a psychological term. Tilted. Here we go. We're going to play into this. We're going to play into the snare of the bugs. And we're going to go choose to go second and try to OTK. If we can't OTK going second, throw the whole deck out. Throw the whole goddamn deck out. Throw it out. <laughs> throw the whole bitch out. If you can't OTK going second, I ain't got nothing for you. Come on. I think we're going to be able to OTK going second, boys. I think we're going to be able to. Oh, oh, oh. Okay. Dodo. <laughs> I w do you think we can do this? Do you think we can OTK going second? I don't know. I think. <laughs> okay, first, let's keep imperm in mind. Let's play correctly. Let me stop being silly. First, let's play correctly. Let's keep Imperm in mind and not play in these two zones. Number one, learning competitive play. Pick up Revival of the Duelist. It'll teach you how to do it. But for now, watch these. I'm gonna activate Cyber Dark Realm, not in a zone where Imperm is. <laughs> I'm gonna add the Chimera. We're gonna activate the Realm's effect to summon my Chimeric Beast. We're gonna use this chimeric powers and discard the clockwork knights. And now we're gonna use the clockwork knights. <laughs> this card is so good. <laughs> we're gonna discard, uh, what are we gonna discard? Actually, we don't need clockwork knights anymore. We can't drop clockwork knights. And get Therian King Reggae. All right, so we're gonna make sure that all this happens. We're gonna activate 
And we're gonna go ahead and get Cyber Dragon Core. Then we're gonna normal summon. You see this? No specials yet. Not a single special yet. Um, so let me see. I think we literally have everything. We activated the emergency. We have plant in hand. We've got the power bond. Uh, we already used the realm, so there's only one card left. Oh, ha, 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 ha. Could this be any more perfect? Link two. Um, yeah. Wait, that could be something he could respond with. And then that wouldn't be nice at all. Let's just see what happens. We'll bring back our beast. Let's hope that that's not like trap hole or nothing. That would be sad. Yes. All right. We know that they play that though. <laughs> uh, now, we should put Regulus out because basically when we put out Regulus, it's gonna put up a negate and these two cards are no longer an issue. And then we're gonna power bond and bring out uh, our guy for the game. So yeah, I think that's what we just gotta do. Super equip. Oh yeah. And now we don't even need to do this because now we can just power bind these two for game. Uh, and then pop that uh, back row action. Can you escape the snare of the bug's trap? Just like a real player, they're not gonna have the most optimal setup every time. But the goal is to make sure that that back row stuff dies. What is this? When a monster that was special summoned this turn activates its effect, negate the effect and destroy the card. Good thing I did this. Go! Thirty on King! Get regulated. <laughs> yes. I think I'm ready for ranked PvP. Oh yeah, I think I'm ready. Let's win more by activating Cyber Dark Repair Plant. And we'll be adding. Stop peeking into my deck list. Watch the podcast. I'm using my Galaxy Soldier's effect. Come on. Galaxy Soldier. Hmm. Come on. Let's win more. Stop looking. Yes. Yes. And I use my Galaxy Soul Flare Dragon's effect. Hmm. Are you ready for total destruction? Go, Rampage Dragon! I think we're ready for ranked PvP, my boy. So, mission successful. You saw against the Go First play. We were able to set up our go first and we were able to control the board, manipulate the board, maintain tempo and win the duel. You saw against our go second game that we were able to consistently execute the planned win condition. If we can do that through max C, if we can do that through back row, we are ready for any competitive duelist and rank PVP. Do with this information as you will.